So the big eclipse happens August 21st. Here's 10 things you need to know. First, this really is a once in a lifetime opportunity. It is the first eclipse that has crossed the entire country uh, since about 1918. People will be coming to East Idaho, really. NASA experts tell us for every one person we think will be here, we should probably multiply that number by five. All of those people are coming here because this really is one of the best places to watch the eclipse. There is no other place that has historically a better chance of having clear skies than where we live. With all of these people, you can expect some traffic problems. It's hard to, hard to create a traffic plan when you don't know where everybody's going to be going. So I can tell you from the sheriff's office and the police department, um, all hands are on deck. Not only that, the Idaho Department of Transportation will be working to keep traffic moving. We're not going to have any maintenance projects in process, so we're not going to have any lanes closed. We're not going to be doing any mowing. We are placing 50 portable toilets on I-15, uh, US-20, State Highway 33, US-93, 28, 22. So traffic will be messy, and if you plan on using one of these, forget about it. We're looking at uh, ways to mitigate that. We're working with the wireless providers here in our area and looking at putting up what they call cow uh, cell on wheels. Verizon has already told us they're not interested in doing that, so I don't know how much traction that's going to get. Now businesses should start preparing for the eclipse with extra crowds and extra staffing. I recommend those businesses that uh, usually have one person on staff, you probably have to put a couple there, especially if the phones go out. Be ready. Food, water, cash, gasoline in your cars. Another thing I recommend is uh, medical services. You should probably know where your closest medical uh, services are that are going to be open just in case you can't get the hospital or can't get through to us. Speaking of medical care, EMTs will be busy. So if you get a bloody nose, I wouldn't plan on an ambulance. We plan on having so many calls that we're going to have to establish what we call priority-based dispatching. And that's where we basically are going to have to uh, empower our dispatchers to decide who gets an ambulance Anymore. Something that we haven't had to do before. As people from all over the world prepare to come to our own backyard. For months now, my office has been receiving phone calls, not just from people in Salt Lake, but from Australia, Europe, uh, Canada all different parts of the world. Government agencies, law enforcement, businesses, hospitals, and others are getting ready for the big event. We cannot afford to be wrong. Not to plan is to gamble with public safety. I'm Nate Eaton, eastidahonews.com.